guys, so I'm sitting here and I'm repricing my inventory on the new new price repricer. Uh, I still use reprice it, but I'm going to give uh, new price a shot. But um, a lot of you guys have been asking me in my DMs on Instagram, you know, hey, do you have any tips on what I need to do to get started? Yeah, what do I need to get started? What are the bare minimum? What's the essentials? So you guys really want to know what you need? I'm going to tell you. The smartphone that I'm recording this video on, that's it. That's really all you need to get started. Because you can use the Amazon Seller app, which is free. And you can list your books on Amazon's website, which is free. And you can get the Amazon Seller account, which is also free. You can pay all your fees out of your sales, so you don't have that upfront cost. Um, your shipping costs are discounted, and they can be billed to you. Um, on top of that, you don't need to have a scouting app. You don't need to have listing software. Uh, the only other thing you need money for is to buy books. And to be completely honest, if you haven't watched a previous video on sourcing and where to find books, then what are you doing, right? So you can go to the Goodwill Outlet. I'll put links link in the description below so you can locate the closest one near you. Um, buy your books by the pound, 59 cents a pound. That's, that's what it is near me. I mean, it's got to be pretty close to that near you. Um, if you don't do that, go to a Goodwill retail store. Uh, you can get books anywhere from a dollar to three dollars per book. You're going to want to focus on high dollar books, right? Not high dollar cost to you, but books that are going to give you the best bang for your buck. Here's those books. They're textbooks. Any kind of textbook you can find that's profitable is going to be more profitable than, let's say, a fiction novel or a cookbook. Unless you get like a really obscure cookbook or a cookbook that um, is for a specialty diet, something like that. Don't sleep on cookbooks. If you follow me on TikTok, you've seen the video that I found like a $50 cookbook. Um, aside from that, there's really not much else you need, guys. Um, hard work ethic. Those are the things you're really going to need. If you've got plenty of work ethic, determination, persistence, you'll be just fine. Um, but here's the thing. If you don't have a lot of money to start with, you're going to need to do what's called shopping your house. Let me explain how that works. Um, so look through your house, um, bedroom, kitchen, garage, utility room, uh, look for things you don't use anymore. Things that are just sitting around, maybe they're tchotchkes or knickknacks. Look them up on eBay. Look up the sold listings. Don't look up what they're selling, like what people are listing them for. Look up for what they've actually sold for. Use that money to fund your business. But I'll tell you right now, when you do make that money, don't make the same mistake I did where it took a couple of months for me to realize that every single time I injected cash into the business and invested in myself or invested in the business, the business grew. I've never looked back, right? Um, a scanner, right? It took me three months to get a scanner. So I scanned with the camera on my phone for three months. Um, miserable. It's a miserable experience. The first time you scan with a scanner, you'll never look back on scanning with the phone. And the first time you buy a scouting app, you'll never look back without it. And the first time you do the database mode with the scouting app and you don't have reception and you're scanning at three times the speed you normally do, you're not going to look back. And then when you get listing software and you're listing three to five to ten times faster than you normally do on Amazon's website, you're not going to look back. It's all about adding efficiencies. Time. Time is the most valuable asset in any industry and especially in this game right so time equals more books time equals more books sent to amazon which means more books are listed which means more books will sell i mean if you're doing everything else right and you've got books that are good ranked with decent sales they're profitable you got a lot of margin in them and you know you're getting a ton of them out in a regular basis and you're being consistent there's no reason you can't succeed in this business. And use this business, book selling or retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, as a bridge to really do what you want to do. You'll thank me later, I promise. Let's talk about Seller Rank for a second. What's a good rank book? A good rank book for a beginner starting out, try to aim for books that are less than a million. You know, less than a million is going to give you a book that's going to sell pretty quickly. Less than a million is going to give you a book that um, generally has a lot of. Uh, competing offers. It's going to generate some reviews for you. It's going to generate some revenue for you. That's the most important part. 
as you get more comfortable, you get your footing, then you can start to branch out into books that are, you know, 1.5 million, 2 million, 3 million. Um, my highest rank book that I sold is 2.5 million for 83 bucks. So I paid 50 cents for that book. So, I mean, higher rank books generate profit. It could sell the same day you list it, uh, or it goes active rather, uh, or it can sell, you know, two months down the road. Uh, my general rule of thumb, I got from Reezy Resales, so shout out Reezy Resales. Uh, it should generate at least $10 profit per million in rank. Um, that's my rule on, on sales rank. So do with that information, which will, uh, I think it's a pretty good guideline to start with. Like always, guys, if you like the content and you want to see something specific, you can drop a comment below. I read all the comments. I'll respond if I can. Um, subscribe. Always subscribe. Hit the bell. It helps me with the algorithm. Uh, plus, you'll get notified if you hit the bell every time I post a video. I'm still working out the schedule. I really want to post it every Sunday. Um, lately, it's been Wednesdays, so I may just change it to Wednesdays. It might just be a better day for me. Um, but I'll get there, guys. I'll get my act together. Talk to you guys next time, man. Peace out.